welcome back to Zaim channel my name is Zaim Iskandar yeah to the Vital Sebastian Vital fans out there uh, I have good news I read uh, I got this information from the official you uh, Facebook page and also their website okay regarding Sebastian Vettel's move to Aston Martin he has agreed a multi-year contract I don't know how long is the length of the contract multi-year maybe two or three years we might still see him in F1 with uh, Aston Martin yeah racing so I'm happy for him because I expected him to retire or him and Raikkonen to retire it seems like Raikkonen is going to retire but he might not have a seat for next season yeah I'm just predicting because there are a lot of rumors that is either Hulkenberg or Perez would be teaming up with Sh Mick Schumacher the son of the seven times F1 world champion for an, in Alfa Romeo for next season yeah replacing an, Antonio Giovinazzi uh, for the second seat so yeah for the main seat is between Chaco and Halkenberg so Red, Red Bull has one seat confirmed. Fra Ferrari, McLaren, Renault, Williams. They have both of their seats confirmed. Uh, L Mercedes, they are in contract dispute with the going to be seven times world champion. Uh, yeah, due to a few things, I seriously don't know. So yeah, so there are two free seats at Alpha Tuari and also at Hess. So Alpha Tuari, they might confirm their lineup. Uh, yeah, because they are they are actually Red, Red Bull's junior team so yeah they might confirm their lineup is either Albon gets into gets demoted or Gasly gets promoted or one of your Alpha uh, uh, Alpha Tauris Tauri seat will get will be given to one of the uh, young driver develop uh, the young driver program uh, yeah uh, young drivers Red Bull's young drivers program in partnership with the Honda Honda's young drivers program I think it's uh, Sonoda Yuki Sonoda Yuki Sonoda so yeah he might get the seat beside Gasly or even Elben if Elben is demoted and Gasly is promoted up so yeah to the senior team yeah <sighs> but I think Red Bull won't do that because of a few reasons I will not tell you the reasons in this video because I don't want to drag the video long so yeah as you guys know uh, yep Sainz and Leclerc in Ferrari Ricardo Norris in and Norris in McLaren uh, Bottas and Bottas and Hamilton in in in, in with Mercedes 
So yeah, there are a few seeds that is in the air. For instance, eleven seed, the two alpha tuare seed has both of the has seed and both of the alpha romeo racing seeds. Yeah, are uh, in the air. Uh, Williams they have confirmed way back in either April or May that they will stick with their current lineup of the Canadian driver and and what do you call it and uh, George Russell the Brit the British driver so yeah so Paris has only a few teams, two teams to choose for, from Hess or Alfa Romeo, because uh, Hess or Alfa Romeo, because I think Alfa Tauri will not take him into the seat, so it's either Hess or Alfa uh, Romeo. Sauber of Sauber Alpha Romeo Racing. That seat that he will be taking over from is Raikkonen seat. If the Alpha Romeo team does not decide to sign Hulkenberg, his former teammate from Force India, yeah. So he his only choice is to go to has then so yep so the driver mark the, the the driver market has not settled yet yeah but one of the alfa romeo seats is confirmed to be given to either swordsman or schumacher's son mick schumacher so yeah michael schumacher's son so uh yeah but Raikkonen's seat is still up in the air because um, it might be given to Perez okay, if Perez wants to drive for Alfa Romeo or even Hulkenberg hmm, that might be interesting Hulkenberg huh. those two drivers the Mexican and the German might drive for two different teams okay due to both of them can be teammates with the same team yeah alfa romeo because alfa romeo has an agreement with ferrari all the uh, all ferrari's uh, young development drivers will dr will get one free seat in alfa in Alfa Romeo so yeah one free seat so that seat is now with Givenazzi Antonio Di Givenazzi seat yeah so yep then Aston Martin has confirmed their lineup with the Canadian and the f f four times world champion the, the German four times world champion Sebastian Vettel so yeah how many teams has confirmed Mercedes they will confirm it. maybe after Imola I'm not so sure Ferrari has confirmed McLaren run McLaren has confirmed Renault will be rebranded to Alfin Racing eh, Alfin F1 team sorry has confirmed their li lineup with um, Alonso and Akon oh that will be an, a tasty team battle with a young Frenchman and the experienced Spaniard who is actually a two times world champion a double world champion so yeah and the first team to confirm their driver's lineup way back as I said way back in the 
first half of the year is those 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 uh, the Williams team yeah so Williams team confirmed then f- then Ferrari came along then Renault Renault for this year before they rebrand to an, the new team for next year and McLaren Mercedes I think in the near future they will confirm Red Bull they, they have put pen to paper on Verstappen but the other seat is in the air yeah so yeah the other seat is in the air so considerably it's actually eight seats that is free not nine because Hamilton seat in the near future he'll he'll surely be he will surely confirm in the near future but i don't know when yeah so uh, he's still discussing with in terms of the contract with the team so yeah uh, five years ago when Vettel made the debut for Ferrari the expect the expectations from the Italian media and tifosis were very high that he can emulate his great idol Michael Schumacher sadly it has and he has ended his Ferrari colors he has ended his his relationship with Ferrari in a sour note yeah, in a sour note. In a sour note. <sighs> How the his relationship could turn bad with Ferrari. Is, is. An un, yeah, is politically based. Because Fra- Ferrari is quite common for them to have a number one and a number two driver. So yeah, it's a political base. Even if he's actually slower than Leclerc throughout all the practice and qualifying sessions this season. Yeah, around three tenths to at least half a second slower. It's not him. It's the car. It's the car. The Ferrari is generally a second. Both of the Ferraris are generally a second slower than uh, the Mercedes Benz. So yeah, but sadly Vettel and his teammate is between three tenths to half a second slower in qualifying or in the practice sessions. Sadly, uh, favoring to Leclerc. Yeah, the team has set Leclerc's car. To beat Sebastian. Oh, it sounds like like an when yeah in twenty eighteen. Hmm, it sounds like like an end. Like like got pole position and for the Italian Grand Prix and also won the uh, uh U.S. Grand Prix, right? So yeah. Hmm. Hopefully he can get a podium before he leaves Ferrari uh, Vettel. Yeah. This season. Or I'll at least I'll qualify his teammate a couple more times before he leaves the the Mariner Herald low outfit to to race for the Silverstone base outfit. Aston Martin so yeah 
I'm happy that he's in F1, but I'm still sad because he deserves to be treated bet- better even though his performance this year with the team is ridiculously not at par to his standards or the team standards should at least be treated better by the team sadly he's not yeah good to hear that he he is driving for Aston Martin but sadly for his former teammate either he has to go to Hess but maybe Hess will not take a world champion will champion into their ranks because with a driver with a, a world championship usually uh, has a uh, a lot of bonus a lot of um, clauses and uh, a few extra clauses and bon and bonuses so they don't want to do that so yeah so maybe Ragnar would be taking a spectacular role yeah managing the Sauber and Alfa Romeo racing team in the future not in the near future in the future maybe when his son is is going to enter F1 but his son is still small yeah a toddler so yeah so he has I think he has an a British Formula 3 team Raikkonen and well, I forgot he, he yeah he has a British Formula 3 team that Bottas you still race with Raikkonen so yeah mm. <sighs> so it turned out to this video turned out to be longer than I thought it would be yeah because I talked about Ragan and I talked about the driver's lineup it's not the full out full lineup yet the full lineup will be updated after the uh, after the season ends yeah I will not update the full driver's lineup yet so happy for Vettel and also said for him also because how his relationship has turned from the most loved guy in Ferrari to a sour relationship in his final two seasons with the team that uh, in his fight it actually started after Maurizio Ravabani left the team in in the middle of last season when they replaced with Binotto so that's where Vettel's uh, performance slowly was consistently good then slowly he had a dip in form and it also affected his um uh motivation to drive for the team so yeah in the other note that Vettel actually deserves another chance with Ferrari but since Ferrari don't want to create create more losses on Vettel so they might cut the mic one Vettel to leave so it's better for Vettel to leave the team and join with Lance Stroll and as Lawrence Stroll the owner of the Aston Martin team and his son so yeah hopefully they can at least get a, a couple of podiums next season with uh, Vettel in the car uh, I'm not asking them to win races for the this couple of seasons because the team is just 
they are capable of winning races but not in a short term long term maybe maybe 10 15 years down the line we might see an Aston Martin winning a race in F1 not only in endurance racing in F1 also so yeah ah <sighs> So yeah, that's all and sorry the video is around 20 odd minutes long, yeah, as I told you, I'm just re-emphasizing what I said in the early part of the video, that's why I had to drag it a few seconds longer or a few minutes longer, so yeah, um, good night and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel Zymis channel and see you on my next video when I, I have the time to do it congratulations to Vettel for your seat in for next year and good luck for him with Aston Martin hopefully he, he yeah this season he looks older than his age yeah Vettel I'm referring to Vettel he looks older than his age and he looks a bit unhappy unlike Raikkonen even though Raikkonen is the oldest guy on the grid he looks younger with the Alfa Romeo team compared when he was driving his last season with Ferrari so yeah um, in 2018 so wow happy ah bye and good night again